we are in Napier. Um, we're going to shoot the Tiger Cat 180 for Tiger Cat. Um, they need some shots for a interview they did with Dan Mowat from Bay Forest Harvesting. So I'm just on my way down there now. I just thought I'd stop up here. I think I'm above them. I can see some lights down in the bottom there. So I thought I'd just get a fly over to start the day. We'll speed this up, eh? It wasn't them. I found them on the other side of the ridge. Never mind. Fuck, what me ears. Anyway, I've been here for a while. Uh, Dan's been and gone. He was in a bit of a rush to get somewhere else, but that's all right. I've just been, hang on, spin that around. I'm just now shooting some video, just for the heck of it. So, I had a big yarn to Dan. He told me a few things about that hauler. He told me they, um, they've done a lot of changing around of, well, a lot. He told me they've changed a few things around on that hauler. So now they've taken out the 7 8 rope, put the inch rope on, bigger drum, and swapped the sheaves and the drum positioning for the main line and the tail rope. So before the main line was in the middle row, so before the, um, the tail rope was the bottom of the three big sheaves, then the main was in the middle and the skyline was in the top. They swapped those two, the main and the tail. They swapped the main and the tail now to stop the main from wrapping around. I think he was saying the main or the tail was wrapping around the skyline a lot. And they reckon swapping around, which looks really logical the way they've got it set up now. It looks to be working really well. That main rope is just straight onto the front of the carriage and the tail rope's going around the block to the side, then out to the tail hold, then back to the back side of the um, carriage. And it's just humming.
and uh, no, left, left is slew and right is uh, for your tower. Is that all it, is that all it does? Well, that, that one does until you, um, you change it over to operate your straw line. Oh, yeah. And left this up to bring it in and take it out. Hey, do we try it? I'm not um, loading it up much because we're trying to keep the um, stream clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so. Oh, so is that why you're grabbing them in the middle to make sure they clear up and over? Yeah, to clear the creek. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Otherwise, so you got the balance here. Yeah, otherwise, tail yeah. drag in, eh? Yeah. And the creek would be full of shit by now if I didn't, if I took, just grab it at the end. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I try and look out there as much as possible, but I have to usually finish the the job by looking at the camera. Yeah. So, so you can see the little holes where you put them, you know. You can get in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes we like we had no camera for a week last week, so you just gotta just do it by eye. Yeah. Is that all on the buttons there, the yeah, carriage well, controls? Yeah. yeah. So. You see, what's underneath here, you open and close the grapple on your right hand side, it triggers in here. Yeah. And the other one's on here for rotating the grapple. I rotate on the left trigger and yeah. open, uh, open and close, open and close on, the, on the right. Right, yeah. Okay. The only grab these ones here too close to the butt, I have to lift them too high. Yeah. Do that, it'll um, I just push the button and it'll go back to where I got the last rig. Yeah. 
Do you use it often? No. Yeah. I, I used to. But, uh, get off there. Oh, what's it done? Is it? Oh, it's just wrapped up. Oh, I see. downhill pull with it? Um, only off the, you know, off the off face. Haven't really done any actual straight, straight down. down. Doesn't come off as fast. Yeah. So when you got a lot of rope out, 
I, I just flick it off so that I can learn, I can you know, really fast so I can slow around. Don't you hate that? When you think you're recording, but you're not. So I just walked, it's bloody face tracking me. Um, I've just come back from the old, the old 180. So I was just, yeah, before I thought I was recording, but I wasn't, my bad. I was just saying it's pretty, it's pretty cool to get up with a fellow like that. He's pretty easy going, doesn't mind, you know, telling you what, whatever you want. Um, so, like if I know a lot about all this, so I don't know what people want to know. I just ask them a few questions that I could think of. And I always think of more questions when I get out. So yeah, I'm gonna fly the drone, get some more shots, and then bugger off home. Roger. Yeah. Thing makes me shake every time I fly it. I don't want to crash it. It'd be so bad if I crash it. Never mind. That was pretty cool. A couple of cool shots there. Uh, this is probably going to be the end of this video. I think it was long enough. Cheers, Dan, David, the rest of the crew, Log 7 Bay Forest Harvesting for letting me come out. And, um, is there another drone up here? Somebody else is flying a drone. Hang on. Who's flying that one? Well, that could have been bad. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I'm out. Laters. Next one.